Hi everyone, today I am going to be using this dip powder that I won from Nails of Interest. I will put her in the description so you guys can subscribe to her because she's awesome. Um, so I already base, I didn't base coat, I actually just cleaned up my nail, put alcohol over it as a primer. That's why it was matte like that. So here I am applying, I don't even know what this is called. The first one. <laughs> and then I'm gonna dip it. But my nail doesn't fit in there right. I feel like I need to turn it. And I'm using this to apply it on there. And this is the clear. If you hear something in the background, I am watching Milagros Mendes from YouTube. I'll also put her in the description. So I'm reading this for, oh my gosh, I just watched this and she did a shout out on my video, <laughs> I mean on her video, thank you so much Milagros Mendes, please check her out, she's awesome. So I accidentally scratched my nail right here, which it looks like I just, I'm just going to go over it anyways. Okay, so this is what I got here. And I think I'm looking for a brush right now. Yes, I'm looking for a brush. Sorry, I just got interrupted. I will be back. I don't know if the, the quality of the camera video is all powdery right now. Hopefully it's not powdery. I think that's a pretty good clear. Let me know what you guys think of that clear and what do you guys think about dip powders? So I've been wanting to put um, dip powder for a while now because I work outside. So I'm always cracking and breaking the nail so this should make it more durable.
So what I did was get a little fan brush and kind of fanned it to get the extra dust, not dust, but dip powder off. And right here, I'm just trying to see there's a big old gap by my cuticle. So what I'm going to do is add more so it doesn't, um, I'm trying not to get it on my skin because you don't want to have, well I don't want to have a big old gap so I'm trying to get as close as I can. Hopefully this video is not so long either. So here's a fan brush again. Well, I didn't get it in camera the, <laughs> the other time. This time I think I got it. So right here I'm just looking at the steps on the paper. I feel like um, they need a, I don't know, for me the instructions should be much better written so I can understand better. I have a hard time understanding or they don't give it in full detail that's what I mean and I believe this is the activator. Yes this is the activator. looks matte. Well I think I did pretty good. Let's see all the dip powder. <laughs> so what do you guys think? So I'll be back um, I don't know when I'm going to be back but um, I was just trying to see the tips again reading the tips So this is on my natural nail. This is not uh, artificial nail. So now I'm going to just be applying the top coat. I'm not buffing this at all because I think it looks good the way it is. My nose is runny right now. I don't know if you guys could hear it. Sorry about that. What do you guys think? Does it look clear? I think it looks pretty good clear. It's super shiny too. I'll be back with all my nails done. So I'm back and these are the results. That white stuff that you're seeing is that I think I missed that part when I was putting the top coat. But yeah, they look pretty good. Right here I'm just checking if I need to add more. Yeah, they came out awesome.
see the white stuff? Yeah, I need to put some more top coat on that. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate all your guys' support. God bless every one of you guys. Please check out Nails of Interest and Milagro Mendez. God bless.